Hello and welcome back to Triple A Production. I am your host Alfredo, and I hope you all enjoyed that interviewing video I did in a couple of days ago. Now that video, it was pretty fun. I had a ton of fun interviewing the interviewing the pans, and um, it was very cold, very very cold. I was holding that hockey stick. I would think that oh the hockey stick's right there. I was gonna grab it, but never mind. It was cold. My hands were numb. I feel like my hands were gonna fall off or possibly get frostbite. But you know what? What's done is we're done. I'm happy. Now with all that said, let's talk hockey. Now going to this game, the LA Kings had called up TJ uh, Tynan as well as Jared Anderson Dolan from the Ontario Reign, but at the same time has lost Kill Clegg as he was picked up on waivers from the Montreal Canadiens. Now this is not too bad of a, of a situation. The Kings have a lot of young talent. The Kings are doing good. And how about this game? The LA Kings have defeated one of the top teams in the Pacific, actually the number three seed, I believe. Or number two seed, no, number two seed in the Pacific Division and one of the top uh, one of the top teams in the Western Conference. Now the Kings, they hit, they played very, they played incredible into this game. Going to, into this first period, the LA Kings played strong. They played a heck of good. They played with so much heart. And as we go two minutes into the first period, uh, this first goal is a, a beauty. What is such a beauty? As Trevor Moore just sauces the puck right over uh, Phil Broberg. Philip Broberg. Why does the name sound familiar? I think Broberg kind of rhymes with... Yo, Berg! It wasn't me. No, it was me. Oh, yes. Well, anyway, uh, he flips and he sauces it right over Broberg onto Rasmus Kupari tape and just tips it right over uh, Koskinen for the first goal of the game. Under duress, taken away by Moore. Hard net drive, quickly tipped in. And it's Rasmus Kapari giving LA. Now as this uh, period comes to an end, Jonathan Quick stops a point blank shot on none other than Leon Dreisaitl. What a spectacular save that was. <laughs> Sorry, I just hear my dog. I can hear from here, he's like, and his ball, his water ball. He sparks a one-timer denied by Jonathan Quick, and that was 2012 vintage. You know it's always a great save when the player that takes the shot and gets the night takes a long look and says, are you kidding? This is a great little setup play right My dog has literally been bugging the whole time. All he hears, because he wants to come in and out, just in and out of the house. And not coincidentally enough, uh, I named him Kobe. The little dog hack, dog has a little abbreviation a short version of Kopi, but his whole name is Kopitar. Waiting that as we go into the like a couple, first couple minutes and a half of the first or excuse me second period. Oh man. That took a lot out of me. But anyway, first couple minutes and a half. So Adrian Kippy comes in in a solo effort and like a one-on-one -on -one against uh Darnell Nurse and rips the pug right over the shoulder of of Kostikinen for a two-nothing lead for the LA Kings. Dustin Brown leaves for Kempe. Rich shot score, two nothing Los Angeles. He had no idea that puck went in the net. Now minutes pass into the second period. We, uh, Darnold Nurse comes into the, into the neutral zone all alone. Not, well he wasn't all alone, my bad. He comes in and shoots the puck right over the shoulder. Short side on Jonathan Quick to, uh, to cut the lead in half, two to one. And it was also Darnold Nurse's first goal of the year. Puck. Harris driving to that. Shoots and scores. It's his first of the year. And the crowd of 17. And now disaster strikes for the Edmonton Oilers late in the third period. Or should be made way through the third period. Um, as Connor McDavid just boards Adrian Kempe and gives him quite a bit of a bloody nose. He then, then gets ejected from the game and the Kings capitalize on that five minute major with three power play goals. One coming from Adrian Kempe, and then the second coming from Drew Doughty, and then the third coming from Trevor Moore. So, Doughty, one timer, Kelly, a rebound score, Adrian Kempe with a second. Of the that hasn't happened more than three times in their careers. Here's a centering pass, a Kopitar, one timer score. Drew Doughty makes it 4-1, and the Kings have struck twice. Vogel unable to clear, quick shot, score. Make it three on the power play. 
Trevor Moore squeezes one through the pads of Miko Koskinen. Now the Kings would win this game five to one. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think the LA Kings would stand a chance in this game. I thought this game would have been probably maybe like a 3-1 game to the Oilers. I, cause the Kings, they lost the last two games. Bad, not bad, but it was, it was, they were both pretty close games, but the Kings have not shown too much. Yeah, in this game, the Kings played a near perfect game as they, everything, almost everything was perfect. The offense was perfect. They were scoring goals. They were shooting the puck. The defense was good. They were stopping anyone that crosses that line. And Jonathan Quick was outstanding, stopping all, well, excuse me, 39 of the 40 Oiler shots. Or should we, wait, that was wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh, this cold is getting to me. I am freezing. So yeah, that was my bad. Anyways, the Oilers actually took 22 shots on goal. The, Jonathan Quick stopped 21 of those 22 shots and the LA Kings capitalizing on the 40 shot, uh, five out of the 40 shots on goal. Now the Kings would then remain, they still remain sixth place in the Pacific Division. And the Edmonton Oilers are now second place in the Pacific Division. Well, anyway, I'm just very happy the Kings won this game because I was just about ready to cry my eyes out because the Kings, they ended up keeping both Dreisaitl and McDavid off the scoreboard with, they didn't even get a point. They, neither of them got a point. So the fact you can stop two, the two of the top two MVP candidates for the season, like that, like we're playing worse. Just like that, that can say quite a bit. So hopefully the Kings can, can build off this win as they, as tonight they play the Vancouver Canucks in the back-to-back -back road trip, excuse me, Canadian road trip. So see you all next time. I, I am very tired, I'm sorry. So see you next time, adios. And later.